Hey, how's it going everybody? Sneaker and Pops. Uh, today we've got the Yeezy 350 Boost uh, Clay Colorway. Um, these just came out, dropped today. Um, not bad. Uh, they kind of released on different sites uh, throughout the night. Uh, Yeezy Supply was very difficult to get uh, a pair on, at least without, I mean, unless you had a bot. We were, I was doing everything all manual. Um, but then I got lucky, uh, on East Bay, I uh, was able to get a pair on there. And then, uh, I won a couple of local raffles here, uh, where I'm at and, uh, was able to pick up the pair, but yeah, standard box, uh, the three standard 350 box. This is what the label looks like. It's of course that clay, uh, colorway, um, all right, I've uh, opened up the, uh, the shelf box, and uh, it's pretty standard on the paper that they normally use. And here they are. Uh, look pretty nice, this color. Uh, different from all the other colors that they've uh, had recently. They've really focused on more of the dark colors recently, but these, uh, these pop a little bit better um, when the light hits it, as you can see. Um... Yeah, these are pretty nice. Uh, these are really, really nice, I think. I like this color. Uh, a little different, uh, and I think that's what kind of is what making these, uh, there's bringing the hype back on these a little bit, is just the color, the, the unique color that they used on these. All right, you can see here, I've taken them out the box, and uh, let's take more of a up-close look at these. As you can see, um, the color is this kind of clayish, light brown color that they have, and they kind of blended it with this fluorescent orange. As you can see here on the inner portion, they also did uh, something very similar. Kind of, you can see that fluorescent orange with that netting, and then it kind of goes back to just being clear, and then it comes back to that fluorescent netting. Um, but of course, you can see up close here, Take a look at the pattern that they used on these. Seems pretty standard on the V2s, 350s. Uh, let's see, the upper. It's got kind of the, the knitting. Very similar, classic 350 knitting on here. As you can see, uh, let's take a look at the back. Back has the bright fluorescent. A heel tab as you can see back as well and then it kind of goes into the more of the different pattern of the stitching as you can see here it kind of goes into a little swirl and goes back to a similar pattern to what it was Let's see the toe box pretty standard try to get a nice up close look for y'all at the kind of bottom insole, uh, bottom sole, clear gel sole. Of course, let's look at the bottom here. It's got the boost, as you can see on the bottom. And it's got that kind of salmon clay color here on the side. Kind of back on the heel, similar, kind of just follows it around all around the shoe. Yeah, I like this color. This color's pretty cool. Uh, you can see the inside here. Um, it's got the Adidas Yeezy branding on there. The uh, insole looks to match the same color as well, the clay insole. It's got the three stripe branding here in the back on the heel tab. And uh, yeah, these are pretty nice. Very nice. Let's check the, out the other shoe. You can see the stitching on the back here as well. Here, pretty clean. Yeah, the one thing about Adidas, typically on the shoes, and maybe it's just the style of shoe that they have, but 
they they typically don't get too many of the imperfections or like the glue stains that the Nike shoes typically have. I don't know, maybe it's just a different style of shoe, so it's just Nike may use more of that glue for the shoe, but you know, you don't just you don't see the random stains or whatever it is on like on like the Adidas shoes that you do typically on the you know, on the Nike shoes. I mean, maybe they're just mass produced more at the Nike, but and maybe Adidas takes a little bit as better quality on quality control on it, but I don't know, man. You can see I don't see too many imperfections on this shoe. It was built built pretty well. Yep, here's what the uh, tag looks like. But yeah, these are nice, very nice color. Um, I hope he kind of brings back a few more of these uh, brighter colors or just changes up the color pattern a little bit more than using the kind of the darker patterns that he's been uh, kind of producing really uh, recently. And I'll go ahead and turn on the light to see if that gives it a little pop for y'all. All right, I turned on the flash. Here we go. Turn on the flash, see if that helps. Um, I'm already have uh, near a window, so I think the color, I mean the uh, the lighting is pretty decent right now. So just show y'all anyway what, the, what it looks like with the flash on. All right, guys, uh, that'll conclude this shoe review. Uh, I've got a couple more shoes coming up uh, to bring to y'all, so uh, please subscribe to the page, and uh, I'll try to get some more shoe reviews for y'all. Thanks.